Hello friends, welcome to National PC YouTube channel. Myself Prasenjit. Today I will show you one of the products from Asus Mini PC. Asus Mini PC PN41. Asus Mini PC has lots of varieties nowadays, which is Asus PN63, which is Intel based high end processor. Asus Mini PC PN51, which is AMD based Ryzen processor. We have received lot of questions about the dual core and quad core processor Mini PC. So today I will show you Asus Mini PC PN41 which comes with Intel 11th generation Celeron and Intel 11th generation Pentium processor. So let's begin this video. These devices also many more features I will show you in this video. Asus Mini PC PN series. Actually this PN series are for the business purpose, the major purpose. So if you need some specific uh, requirement, like if you need some specific RAM size, specific SSD size or specific processor like this PN41 it has 11th generation Intel processor dual code Celeron or quad code Pentium processor it has narrowed 6 to 8 variation so if you need some dedicated processor of the particular processor for your requirement or for your particular project you have to book from the ASUS Nearwood ASUS has some MOQ maybe it 100 units or 150 units for normal user or for domestic user ASUS has make availability for some limited uh, quantity or from limited usage or limited specification. This time ASUS Mini PC PN41 is available with Intel Celeron N44500. It's a dual core processor. With this dual core processor, this Mini PC PN41 has many more advantages like it comes with the 2.5 GB of LAN. Uh, LAN. 2.5G LAN means normally the LAN port we are using in our motherboard or desktop it is 1 gigabit of LAN but this PN41 is coming 2.5G 2.5 times faster and the Wi-Fi it's coming with the Wi-Fi 6 it is also the latest generation one more major change actually I want to, know, I want to tell you about this PN41 that this device can be run with USB power it's a very more advantage actually it's when we talk about the mini PC because it will um, not require the much power supply or much the cable so it will be some clean looks to your desktop so this power delivery or the power delivery input it's only possible through the type c port this device has usb 3.2 generation uh, two type c port uh, it has two type c port one type c port you can use this for the power delivery input but for the power delivery input there is some specification or there is some limitation it's already written on the asus website it support limited device the device which will support this uh, the power input it must be power delivery output of minimum 65 watt so with type c port like you can choose the monitor the type c power supply or type c any kind of device which can uh, run this pn41 with minimum of 65 watt of power supply another advantage or another uh, the thing is that the whole mini pc already have it has two ram slots which is ddr4 supported and 32 megahertz supported you can install maximum 16 plus 16 32 gb of ram and it can support the two type of storage one is m.2 ssd and another one is 2.5 inch 4 2.5 inch sata port you can install the hard disk 2.5 inch hard disk which is a laptop hard disk normally called or you can install the 2.5 inch ssd also other thing is that it has the it can support the three display at a simultaneously so you can use the display port one you can use the type c port and one you can use the vga port this mini pc comes with the configurable port for the vga port which is for the domestic purpose which is already available because we receive many questions that the customer this is the configurable port so we need the uh, com port it is a configurable port we need the lan port which is a dual lan port so it is not available for the normal user for normal user the asus pn41 which is available it's come with the vga port so let's unbox this package and i will show you all the ports all the features and all the installation process in this video asus mini pc pn41 the same looks the gray black now we will open the seal and let's check the accessories and specifications and all type of ports this is the main device kept it aside right side compartment is for all accessories this is the booklet i will show you how to install and everything this is also the manual the different language manual this is diver cd i will recommend you to download the latest diver from the asus website this is for the hard disk screw this is the m.2 screw this is the m.2 ssd heat sink it's a very good thing actually because nvm ssd it generates little bit heat so it will be much more useful i will show you how to install this 
this is also on more ended to the screw head the power cable this is a good quality power cable this is the wall mount screw vesa screw this is a 19 volt power supply yes 19 volt this is for the power supply this is the vesa mounting kit this is the vesa mount it also has the lock feature i will show you how to lock this Now focus on the main device. Very small actually, four inch by four inch. Very small one. Wow. Very slim looks and clean looks. First, we will form the front side. This one is for the microphone. After that, this is a USB 3.2 generation to type C port. This is a USB 3.2 generation to type A port. This is for the micro SD card slot. And these two are for the microphone. So you can use this device without any uh, external microphone. It has some internal stereo microphone. So it's a very good quality. And this one for the IR receiver. So you can use this device as a media center device and you can use the normal universal remote and you can configure the universal remote using any of the operating system and after that you can use this device as a media center. This is the power button and this is the hard disk activity LED. Right side there is nothing is there only vent is there for the air circulation and for the heat dissipation purpose. This one for the Kingston, Kingston lock. So if you want to display this product in the marketplace or anywhere where is the open space then you can use this Kingston lock. Now the back side. Back side, this one for the power supply, the DC port and after that these two are the USB 3.2 generation uh, to type A port. This one the HDMI port, this one the VGA port and this one for the type C port. So you can use the three display at the simultaneously. This type C port also support the power delivery input. So you can use this mini PC without this external power supply. Using the type C monitor or the using type C any other device you can power up this device but make sure this power output must be 65 watt or more this LAN port is very much useful it is a 2.5G LAN port and there is also some air vent for the air circulation purpose right side nothing is there only air circulation top side this is the intel this particular device is intel n4500 this is the intel Celeron processor that's the intel logo is there now we will check the back side Back side, this is the only low, the pin 41, the serial number, everything. But these two are the very much useful. These two are for the VESA mount. Now we will open this uh, back cover and I will show you how to install the RAM, how to install the SSD, and how to use this device actually. So let's open the back panel. Opening this back is very easy. That is already mentioned the push button. So you can push and slide this. You can easily open this. This back portion is for the 2.5 inch SSD and there is two RAM slot. You can use the maximum 16 GB plus 16 GB RAM and it's a DDR4 32 MHz RAM is supported. And here you can check the M.2 port so you can use the M.2 SSD in this position. And this one for the 2.5 inch SATA hard disk or SATA SSD. And this is the Wi-Fi 6 plus Bluetooth 5.0 card. This actually comes for the Intel chipset. So it's very much powerful actually. So now we will install the RAM and we will install the SSD. Now I will show you how to install the VESA mount. For VESA mount we need these two types of screw and this is the VESA mount plate. This VESA mount plate you have to install either on the wall or you can use this VESA mount on the back side of any TV or any monitor. After that you have to port this device like this way. So first I will show you these two screws. 
This is for the wall mount and this is for the mini PC mounting. So you need these two types of screws. Simply install this. I will show you the demo purpose, not very tight. Just simply install and show you the purpose only. This is the final. Now, previously all this version is only 100 by 100 this base amount, but Asus has uh, cleverly actually designed this. This is for the lock purpose. So first you have to unlock this small screw. This is simple. So you, now you can access this two port. You can access this two port. On the back side, if you check, you can access this two port. Now if you can, if you lock this from this position, okay, then no one can unlock this device. So first you have to unlock this from the screw. Then you can easily open this mini PC. We have already connected all the HDMI cable, power cable and everything. Now I will start this power button. You can check there's this power button also have some LED. This is for the power LED and this one for the hard disk activity. Now you can check this is the activity LED is blinking. This is the BIOS screen. You can check the version and everything. This is the Intel Celeron processor and you can check this is the total memory. This is 32 GB as I already told you. This is for the normally boot screen. You can check all the bias screen from this configuration. Also one thing I can want to mention this, this is the TPM module already pre-installed in this device. So you can use Windows 11 easily or you can upgrade from the Windows 10 to Windows 11. Asus Mini PC PN41. This is a very small device, silent device and very much powerful device. You can use this device any kind of purpose. I hope you have enjoyed this video and you have enjoyed all the technical specifications about Asus Mini PC PN41. If you enjoyed this video, like this video as much as possible, share this video as much as possible and also support our channel, subscribe our channel. If you need any kind of information or any kind of technical guidance, please comment in this video. I will see you on the next video with some exciting products.